Groove Webinar is the ideal tool for running webinars. The dashboard has analytics about your webinars and shortcuts to essential parts of the app. You can also access these areas through the sidebar. Under Webinars, you can create webinars and find links to the webinars you were invited to. Surveys can be created next and are an option to add after the webinar ends so you can collect comments and information from your attendees. Polls are used while the webinar is running and are a source of interaction for attendees. Presenters can be added here, but can also be added in the webinar setup wizard while you create your webinar. Once your webinar runs, you can find analytics about it here. Under settings, one way to make sure your webinar runs more smoothly is to add canned responses for your chat interaction. These are pre-written responses for common questions you know you'll be answering a lot. Let's take a look at the webinar setup. It's actually pretty straightforward as a wizard that brings you step-by-step -step through all the necessary settings. First, you'll choose the webinar type, automated or the upcoming options of live, stream, or meeting. Webinar details are shown to potential registrants. If your webinar is automated, you'll add a video source. Next, you'll choose and or add presenters. If you already added presenters through the sidebar, you can simply select them here. Otherwise, you can add new ones. Schedule options are very flexible. You can create a webinar that repeats on a regular basis or one-off webinars at specific times. Schedules are only added once you click the Add button. Engage Your Attendees has all the live options for your webinar. These are things like automated chat roll, offers, and file sharing. This is also where you can embed tracking pixels on your webinar pages. By default, no notifications are sent to registrants, so you'll want to turn this on. However, it will require a sender to be set up inside GrooveMail first. Automations are triggered after specific events. Someone could register for the webinar and be added to a list, or if someone stays through at least 50% of the webinar, they could be tagged so you can find them easily later. After the webinar is over, you can send attendees to a webinar thank you page, a previously created survey, or an external link of your choice. Following that, Add the link to your webinar registration page. Don't worry about having a registration button or form on that page yet. You'll customize that on the next page. And then on the links step, you can find the embed codes for it all, along with all of the links that you might need. If you get stuck or have any questions, reach out to us here or check out our growing collection of tutorials here.